What's up, my amigos? This is Javi from Javi Dales, and uh, just randomly came up to a spot here for some tacos out in the city of El Mirage, Arizona. Um, it's a Baja style taqueria, uh, basically a truck or cart uh, trailer is posted up out here in the parking lot serving a couple of different uh, styles of tacos and you know how I uh, enjoy tacos so um, please make sure you hit the like button uh, subscribe and share this with your friends and as I'm excited to show you here Baja Tacos and El Mirage let's go Okay guys, so I was talking to somebody who works here and uh, they're basically open every day uh, with the exception of Mondays uh, from 11 till about 10 o'clock at night depending on how busy they are. So I'm assuming that if they run out of uh, food, they tend to shut down early. Um, so I'm excited to show you the fair that we got here. Um, really cool space here right now during this time of year. It's pretty nice weather outside so it's cool to chill out here and enjoy some food um, in the city of El Mirage. You got there, Isaac. Wow, it's a little sparkly and it's a big bottle. Oh, yeah, what's it called? I don't know. Sidral Mundet. That's a uh, sparkling apple juice. I knew it. It was called something sparkling apple juice thing. Do you like it, Mona? Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, it's good. So at the table they got a couple of different uh, salsas here al gusto we're gonna try one of each on the different style of tacos i'm assuming this is red salsa green salsa and this is probably the baja style all right so we got our food delivered to us um, i ordered one of each taco just to kind of show you guys the different varieties of the ones that they sell here um, exactly how they come not customized or anything uh, the family got you know their preference be between the different styles that they serve they have everything from carne asada to shrimp tacos to al pastor. Uh, they even have uh, something called la tortilla, which is their version of a mula. So I will show you the first one, which is probably their uh, more popular one here. It's the uh, shrimp taco. Uh, the shrimp is cooked on the grill, a la brasa, as they call it in Spanish. And it looks like it's topped with the pico salsa and some cabbage. Um, they recommended uh, putting on this uh, cream sauce. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the ingredients are, but I know that when you have fish or shrimp tacos, um, usually it has some kind of like chipotle or cream aioli. I make one actually that I'm gonna show you guys on a different video uh, for my uh, own shrimp or fish tacos. That's amazing. So I'll share my own recipe with you guys in a future video. So we're gonna dress up these tacos and then kind of take a bite. We'll let you know how they taste. Okay, so I dressed it up with some of that salsa put a little bit more on there and then let me get a little bit of that hot sauce this red one is the hottest one supposedly so we're gonna try that out there a little bit of that on there and the tortilla the tortilla looks like it's um, crispy hecho a mano or handmade uh, corn tortilla um, let's take a bite Wow, that is very crunchy. The tortilla has a nice little crispiness to it, almost like a hard shell taco, but still has the softness and the different textures from the fillings from the shrimp to the pico to the cabbage. And those sauces really add, um, you know, the flavor and kind of meld everything together. Definitely a good choice. This taco uh, goes for about $3.50. A taco it's a pretty good size here I'd say probably about four to five bites uh, if it was me um, and definitely something that's feeling delicious 
So the next one that I'm gonna show you guys is this Al Pastor taco. It's uh, traditionally uh, Mediterranean style is where it came from, the Al Pastor idea where they have it on the spindle and they shave the uh, marinated pork off of the spindle and serve it on a tortilla. And we're gonna go ahead and dress it up. It comes with uh, guacamole, traditional onions and cilantro toppings. I like to put uh, salsa verde or green salsa on the tacos del pastor. Um, and I do see that they have a green sauce here that we're gonna use. So, kind of dress that up there. And go in for a bite. Really good. The pork is really tender. The tortilla on this taco is a lot softer as opposed to the shrimp taco that I had earlier. Um, definitely has good marinade on it and uh, pretty good al pastor taco. The size of this one is a little bit smaller than the shrimp taco. Um, the price also reflects that where it's $1.99 uh, per taco for the al pastor or the carne asada. Okay, last but not least, it's gonna be the taco de carne asada or steak, which is a really popular taco when it comes to the lineage of different tacos that people order. This one comes with the soft corn tortilla as well, similar to the al pastor, and it has the same topping, cilantro, onions, and a little bit of the guacamole sauce on top, so we're gonna dress it up. I like to put uh, red salsa on the tacos de carne asada or steak. We'll dress that up there. We'll use a little bit more of that hot sauce that we put on it earlier. All right, and we got it all dressed up. Check that out. Yummy. Well, take a bite. I'll tell you guys how it tastes. No pools wall. Well. That salsa is fire, boy. I feel it all over the mouth right now. Really good. There's some bite to it, but not too much. There has been some other salsas where I'm like biting and I'm like, oh man, my scalp starts sweating. And this is actually pretty tolerable still, but definitely not for the faint of heart. So, carne asada taco, as I said, is um, $1.99. Has good um, texture and the corn tortilla softness just adds that good combination of firmness from the steak to the uh, softness of the corn tortilla. So I ordered another one. It was really good. I had to get a second one. I didn't really show you guys kind of the close-up view right there. As you can see it's the grilled shrimp, the pico de gallo, some onions, and then cabbage on top. And what I really like is the corn tortilla. It's uh, kind of fried, real crunchy, but not too crunchy like the hard shell ones you find at Taco Bell or some of the fast food. Uh, big taco chains. So we're gonna dress it up real quick. Lime. Yeah. Then a little bit of their special sauce right here. And of course, the hot salsa. Take a bite. Really full, really hefty here. Wow. We're over here laughing because I had no idea this taco has queso in it or cheese. And you know who doesn't like cheese? Knocky snack. Guys, 
fool them again. Oh, okay, one I watched again in the video. Order another a pastor. Um, pastor is like my favorite, so I had to order another one. Our pork got really good marinade on it. Sometimes I try some that are too heavy on the marinade or too sweet. Uh, this one's like right in the middle, so it's perfect. And a soft one tortilla. Okay, so we're all done. Uh, chow down on a few different tacos. Pretty good, fair price for uh, the tacos and their size. Um, again, this is Baja Tacos, which is a food truck. It's posted up in the parking lot uh, near the corner of El Mirage and Thunderbird out in the city of El Mirage. Definitely gonna be showing some love for their Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'll be sharing that on the YouTube video and uh, hopefully you guys catch the video on one of their pages too. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, share this with your friends because I do this just for the love, for the food, and to show you guys a couple of different spots out here in the greater Phoenix area uh, that I really enjoy or have found and I'm trying out. So this is Javi from Javi Dales. Adios.